here from undergroundstrength.tv. We're at the Underground Strength Gym in Manasquan, New Jersey, and banging out this uh, video for my friend, my coach, my mentor, Brad McLeod, over at sealgrinderpt.com, and wanted to share with everybody um, our passion for body weight training and what we feel are some of the most critical body weight exercises you should be implementing. Now, this isn't really the end all be all. I'm gonna show some variations, so if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you can take them to that next level, or you can start at the lowest level. We all start somewhere. But the, the real key is using these uh, in your workouts. The variety is going to be critical, but we use them heavily with the athletes at uh, our underground strength gym, and I use them heavily with the training courses because body weight training, you can do it for every goal. You wanna get more explosive, you can use it for explosiveness and speed. You wanna get stronger, you can add resistance and make your body weight exercises heavier. You wanna build endurance, you can do high reps, circuit training. Uh, you wanna get better athleticism, you can incorporate more gymnastics. So there's just really an endless amount. So I'm gonna take you through really five movements. We're gonna have squatting or squat jumps, lunges or lunge jumps, body weight pushing, pulling, and uh, something for the abs. So first one I wanna show you guys is regular squats into squat jumps. So squat, feet outside shoulder width, get that butt back, turn your knees out, don't let your back round, and you should be able to get nice and low with your feet fairly straight ahead. Squatting, you should be able to build up to 30, 40, 50 reps in a row, even 100. Squat jump is gonna be explosive, come off the ground as high as you can, land quick, explode quick. So go into a half squat and just keep blasting up. All right, that's a squat jump. Now lunge jumps uh, and lunges, we can do all angles. We've got forward lunges, alternating legs, reverse lunges, shooting those legs back. We've also got lateral lunges. You can touch down. You can also stay more upright. And then we've got one of my favorites, the lunge jump, okay? You can also uh, vary that lunge jump into a pause at the bottom. So hold, three, two, jump, three, two, jump. So your body has to develop that static strength. So squat jumps, lunge jumps, now let's hit some pushing and pulling. Regular push-ups. We take a lot of different grips. Shoulder width, just like this. Elbows in, chest taps the floor, lock your arms at the top. The other variations are switching your hands. Close, staggered stance, they're all good. Keep those elbows tucked, abs tight. Staggered. And you could also take them and make them more explosive. Hang tight, we got a train coming by here. All right. Now, after you get good at doing traditional push-up, down, lock, abs are tight, make it more explosive. Switch up those grips. You can also put your hands up, follow me over here, grip, and change where your body is in position. Those are called push-offs. Here's one of my favorites. Dips, shoulders back, stretch, lock, lock. When I do dips, I do a lot of variations. I'll put a band around my neck and lock it onto the bottom. You have to get under it and the band is pulling you down, we'll use chains, weight belts, we'll even take kettlebells and lock them into our feet where you have to keep your toes up. So pushing variations, push-ups, dips, anywhere on the wall, handstand push-ups. And one of my favorite, I would consider it a pushing movement, is hand walking. I did these with Brad when he came out to our underground strength coach, sir. We did hand walking on parallel bars. 
got to a local playground at the elementary school, hand walk forwards, hand walk backwards, dips at the end, leg raises off those parallel bars, excellent stuff. If you have a training partner, have your training partner hold your ankles, walk on your hands while your ankles squeeze your partner's hips so you maintain that tight core. So we've covered squatting and jumping, lunges and lunge jumps, push-ups, dips, explosive push-ups, now pulling movements. Pull-ups can be done, see all these variations we have, varied grips, straight bar, but we always switch the grip that we use. Over, under, underhand, close grip, traveling side to side. Legs up. Lots of variations with the pull-ups. Come in and look over here. One of the things that we like to do since we train so many wrestlers, combat athletes, is we want their grip to get engaged. So we do a lot of these pulls on the hand grenades, and this forces you to get in that flex position as if you're in an arm wrestling motion. You don't always have to go overhand. I like to get my palms facing me. So I'll take an underhand grip, wrap those hands around, And everything could vary on bodyweight exercises. Fast, for explosive speed and power. Slow, holding, for more static strength. Now I'm gonna chalk up, we're gonna get some rope climbs in. These are really one of my favorite exercises for the uh, upper body and for training in general. The rope climb is something that I wanna see everybody build up to no matter how big or small you are. My body weight hovers, on average, around 212 pounds. We've had uh, athletes 230, 240, 250 climbing rope. And there's a lot of variations here, but the one I want you to build up to is sit on your butt, start from your butt, climb up without using legs, and finish on your butt. So sit down. Get ready with fast hands, legs up, do a pull up at the top, tight on the way down, and finish on your butt. The last one I want to show you guys is for the abs, hanging leg raises. So come on over here, two variations. One from the dip bar. So Griff, come on out here. Hold your body upright, lock it out, raise the knees, or raise the legs. One, two, different angles. And then the other variation, hanging leg raise. These the big mistake a lot of people do is they dead hang the arms and tuck their neck through. Engage your lats. Pull those knees up to the elbows. Keep everything tight. So as you can see, elbows in, lats engaged. Hope that helped you guys. Just took myself through a little body weight circuit and recap those are some of the top exercises from the body weight realm that we want you guys to use undergroundstrength.tv and sealgrinderpt.com stay tough later guys